The electropterus is a simple device that demonstrates charging by induction. So it consists of a wax plate and an aluminum plate with an insulating handle, some fur, and some fluorescent light bulbs. So the way the electropterus works is that initially the aluminum plate is neutrally charged. So it's got an even approximately amount of positive and negative charge. Um, after I rub the wax plate with fur, it's going to collect a negative charge. Then when we bring the aluminum plate close to the wax base, um, we start to see polarization. So you start to see the positive charges line up on the bottom of the aluminum plate and the negative uh, charges on the top of the aluminum plate. And this is because the negative charges in the base are repelling the negative charges in the aluminum plates, but they are attracting the positive charges in the plate. So this is what we call polarization. So if we were to take one of the fluorescent bulbs and touch the plates, it's going to give a pathway for the electrons to flow. And then we'll see the light bulb light up a little bit as a result. Then when we lift the plate up again, we see that it's, it's now um, positively charged. And we call this charging by induction. So if we were to take the fluorescent light and touch the top of the plate, it'll release those charges again and again light up the bulb and then it'll return to a neutrally charged state. So we're going to charge the wax base with the fur, we'll rub the fur on there. So now the wax base is negatively charged, it has a net negative charge. <coughs> And if we bring the aluminum plate close to the wax base, uh, we'll start to have that polarization occurring where the negative charges from the base are repelling the negative charges in the plate. So the negative charges in the plate are collecting on top, whereas the positive charges are collecting on the bottom. Okay, so they don't even need to touch in order for induction to take place. So then if we touch the top, of the plate with the fluorescent bulb. We'll take those negative charges off the plate. And now I have a positively charged plate. And then if I again touch the plate with the fluorescent bulb, I will discharge those positive charges and it returns to a neutral state again. So we'll turn the lights off in order to see the actual discharging into the light bulb.